I'm Dr. Chris Bergwald, Director of Adult Discipleship and Evangelization with the Diocese of Sioux Falls. And I'm Father John Rutten, a priest of the Diocese of Sioux Falls. And this is the fourth in our video series on Robert Coleman's book, The Master Plan of Evangelism, uh, looking at chapter three in the book on consecration. So Father, the, 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 uh, to me the theme of this chapter, um, or, or one of the central themes, um, the two themes maybe, uh, count the cost, you will have to carry the cross and follow me. So carrying the cross and following me. So discipleship, you know, Jesus, we, we were talking about, this is, this is what we're made for. We're made to follow Jesus. We're, we're made to be with God forever, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And yet we're still sinners. Um, and the world in which we live is sinful. And so because I am a sinner and because the world around me, particularly in our day and age, in many ways, um, it, it's countercultural to be Christian in general, to be Catholic in particular, um, Carrying the cross is a reality. It, me struggling again against my own, my own sinful desires, the things that I want to do that I know that are bad, or the things that I don't want to do that I know that are good and true and right and so on. Uh, on the one hand, you know, carrying the cross that way. On the other, other hand, carrying the cross in the sense that if I'm going to be, you used a, a phrase earlier uh, in one of the earlier videos, if I'm all in, which is what we're called, if I'm going to be all in, then I have to accept all the church's teachings, mm -hmm. even the ones that might challenge me, that, right, might, you know, that my friends might think are, are goofy or, or even hateful mm -hmm. or evil. Um, we have to follow Jesus in and through the church, and Jesus carried the cross. So we are going, he said, you must, if you're, everyone wants to come after me, take his cross and follow me. And yeah. that's what we're called. And, to do. and I, initially, it's, there might be a response of fear or the magnitude of it or I can't right. do this. Um, but he speaks in here about the process and our capacity increasing and growing over time. And I think that's important because the place where we learn to carry our cross is, is not. Uh, the moment in which we have to stand before the city council and the repercussion is going to be jail. Right. Uh, the moment in which we have to stand before the cross is when our child asks us a question and we don't have the answer. Right. The cross is to see and to seek and to learn and to find out and to, to pray that we might be able to respond to the request. Uh, that's a cross. We want to normally just, hmm, because. Uh, and if you follow that little by little, you gain this relationship with him in which he instructs us. He gives us the wisdom. Uh, it's not of our own doing. And in the end, you may be led to great places in front of many peoples, but you will have learned many things along the way. Um, you know, we receive according to our capacity to receive as a principle of philosophy. And, and uh, you know, some of us have thimbles. Uh, some of us have, I suppose, nobody knows what a thimble is anymore, do they? Uh, <laughs> uh, thing of what you speak. <laughs> uh, a bottle cap, okay? Some yeah. of us are bottle caps. We can hold this much Jesus, like a little, uh, some of us are salad, soup bowls. Um, we're really growing and we can really receive a lot and, and we're, we're getting some things. Some of us are, are, can receive vast amounts uh, uh, of grace. Um, and we have a fluidity and an ability to do these things. But it's important to know where we are and to know that we grow. Through. Grow, that you can go, you, if you are the bottle cap, you can you become. You can become a salad bowl. Right. I always wanted a salad bowl. <laughs> uh, but it happens through charity. Yeah. Uh, and this is the only thing that enters into eternal life with us, is charity. The degree to with which we have been opened by grace right. and our cooperation. And charity requires sacrifice. There is no love without sacrifice. Right. Uh, and today we have a world in which we've divorced those two. Yep. And so it seems like whenever we're pained or we're poked or we're prodded, uh, that can't be Jesus. But maybe it is. Right. You know? and, and so to just realize that uh, this is the way. Pain is the price of admission uh, to new life. And when we open ourselves to that little by little, we see that he's with us. He hasn't left us. He gives us joy. There's peace. Uh, I don't have to cut myself off from, the, from all my friends that disagree with me. Um, I actually am very free with them now. Right. I'm, I'm, I actually, I can give myself totally to them. Uh, I don't have to judge them. But it's because I've learned to be open. I'm, I'm not uh, uh, trying to pick up what Christ hasn't given me. And I think, you know, a, a, a final point that 
that uh, that Coleman makes that I've you know, he's not the first one to make it but that I, I really love and I, and I use a lot that doesn't always mean we'll understand <laughs> yeah. you know, we won't always see what's you know a year down the road let alone 10 years down the road mm -hmm. but 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 that, that following and trusting and obedience despite my lack of understanding in that yeah. instance with the the bread of life discourse John chapter 6 Jesus gives the teaching on the Eucharist mm -hmm. um, we must eat his flesh and drink mm -hmm. his blood and 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 some of his disciples they're called disciples they leave because they don't get they, they can't understand mm -hmm. they can't grasp that mm -hmm. Jesus turns to the 12 what about you will you also leave me yeah and Peter does not say, Lord, I understand transubstantiation completely. Yeah. I, I get completely yeah. the doctrine. No. To who else will she go? You have the words of eternal life. So that trusting, despite the fact that, Lord, right now, I don't understand this teaching. I don't understand this suffering that I'm enduring. And as a matter of fact, you. you're not following transubstantiation. Right. You're following the person, the living, breathing person of Jesus Christ given to us, a greater mystery than we can ever comprehend. Uh, and if uh, uh, we can understand different degrees and levels of that, we should. It's good. It's true. It, it opens us. Uh, but never to lose the fact that we're following a person who will never comprehend. Never comprehend. But in following him, he begins to reveal to us things that are beyond what the wise of the world know. Uh, and this is the gospel. Um, and I think it's important, too, because, you know, there are stages. There might be some teachings that you don't quite get or you don't quite understand or you don't. But the method isn't to uh, wait here and you know, uh, until I get it all or right. understand all, then I'm going to walk forward. No, the method is to walk forward in humility and say, Lord, I will be obedient to the church. Give me the wisdom. Help me. Give, help me find the right book, the right information, the right person to open this for me. I'm, I'm willing to be open and changed. I just don't understand.